you know, on, on the issue of portability, I'm, I'm curious to get your feelings on that and that it seems like I've heard some people say that portability is something of a myth and that if you're onto a certain cloud provider and you're, you have, say, a database there or you're working, you're, you have a machine learning deployment set up with that, with that provider, the idea of suddenly moving that machine learning deployment or, or some other deployment off to another provider is so difficult. It's almost like, I don't, it's like portability is, is, is really difficult, which may relate to the world of, da of data storage. But what, what is your sense of that? Yeah, absolutely, and 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 I think I think you're onto something here. Um, you know what I would say is I, I would actually uh, split portability. I think there's actually two separate uh, pieces of this. Okay. Um, and, you know, one is hey, I've got uh, an application environment, machine learning uh, uh, um, data set in one cloud. Do I want to hop from cloud to cloud? Uh, and I completely agree with you, right? Cloud hopping, especially because of the data challenges, the cost challenges, the networking challenges, really doesn't happen that much. Right. Um, on the other hand, cloud optionality. Uh, is a real thing, right? Mm, um, so yeah. customers that, uh, you know, want to have the option to deploy part of their workload, part of their environments uh, in uh, cloud A, uh, part in cloud B, and, and they want to be able to, to have that uh, flexibility. I'll give you a great example of this. Um, you know, if, if you look at a lot of the SaaS providers, um, you know, that we serve here at Pure, um, you know, these, these SaaS providers are providing, um, you know, uh, uh, running services uh, to host their customers. They're running them on uh, some large public cloud environments. Um, you know, they, they might be built in AWS. They might have customers that refuse to store data in AWS because of competitive oh, reasons. Right. And, so, and so these SaaS providers, uh, just as a matter of a course of business, um, have to be able to operate their service in multiple cloud environments in order to serve their customers. Right. And so now, now this comes back to consistency. If you're a SaaS provider, if you, if you want that optionality, uh, how do you do that? How do you achieve that without having uh, two, three different software stacks? Uh, right. two, three different R&D teams, two, right. three uh, different uh, support teams. Uh, and so I think uh, I would agree with you, cloud hopping uh, doesn't really happen that much, but I think everybody wants cloud optionality. Uh -huh. Which in theory would help with the pricing with, from the cloud provider. That's a separate issue, but you, you absolutely, might- Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Well, yeah. you know, separate and linked, uh, but, it, but it's a very real issue. Yep. Uh -huh.